Hey guys, what's good? It's Andrew from TravelingGuitarist.com. Today I'm talking to you about how many lessons you need as a guitar player. And um, right away I'm just going to tell you that you know you, you need about six months to a year of guitar lessons before you've learned the fundamentals of the instrument. However, um, you should probably have a guitar teacher or a coach for the majority, you know, for the rest of your life. Like you should have always have a mentor or a coach who can help you. Um, you could probably go like a couple years without a coach or a teacher, but eventually like you need to get lessons and you need to have mentors and you need to like surround yourself by with people who are better than you so you can learn from them. And, um, I recently kind of came to this realization and like how important this is after I got a personal trainer for in the gym. And, uh, like I was able to bust through plateaus that I had in the gym in like six months, you know, like I, I beat my personal record on the squad. I beat my personal record on the deadlift. Like my trainer had me bust through pretty much every plateau that I've had. Um, like I did 205 on the bench, which I understand is not a lot, but for me it is. I'm not like a big guy. You know, I'm like 5'8", 170 pounds. And I did 205 at like, you know, 168 or 169, which I was really happy with, you know. But anyway, it kind of, it just taught me like the importance of having a coach and like always having uh, teachers and mentors and, and someone who can teach you, you know, because you're, you're just not going to do it by yourself. Like you're not going to, you're not going to become as good as you think that you're going to get without a coach. Like it's just, I wish I, I wish I understood that when I was a bit younger because it's so important. Like you really can't emphasize it enough. Like you're not going to be as good as you could be unless you have a coach or a trainer, you know, it's just the way it is. Like you think you're just going to like sit in your room and play guitar along to a metronome? Like, no, nah, dude, it's not going to happen. You know, you're not going to be nearly as good as you think you're going to get. You're going to, you're just going to mope around and just do that for years. And it's not going to turn out the way that you thought it was going to turn out. And, you know, like ask me, that's what I did, man. Like I, like I played the guitar along to a metronome for like years, like straight up, like years, just like in my apartment, you know, like four or five years of that, just like an utter waste of time. Like not a, well, not a total waste of time, but like if I would have had a teacher, like I, I could have got the same results in like eight months, you know, like I didn't need to do any of that. So, you know, that's why I wrote this article and why I explained that because, um, you know, it's super important that you have a, a teacher and a coach. And even if it's like an online course, like, um, a lot of people, they, they believe that an online course isn't going to help you, but, um, you know, it is, you know, having an online course is going to help you. It's, it's not, it shouldn't be like the meat of what you're learning, but it should be like a way to supplement, uh, your education, you know, like, so like if you're taking lessons from an in-person teacher, you can also use an online course to help you as well. So, you know, you can use something like this, like this guitar control. There's all kinds of cool programs that you can learn online and they're not really that expensive, I should probably show you a little bit, uh, show you a little more and not be so like scrolling through it. But yeah, it's on this website, guitarcontrol.net. Um, this is a really good course that there's a lot of good reviews on it online. So I would definitely recommend checking that out. And also uh, another good one is like Singarama. That's, a, that's one that people really uh, use. Now, like it would be best to get like a real coach in real life, but I think this is a good way to start. Like if you start with Singarama or something like that, if you want to sing, then you start with this and then you can go to a teacher after, or you can do both of them at the same time. And, you know, it's going to help you, you know, it's going to, it's going to help and it's not going to cost a fortune. So like, I understand that getting a teacher and a coach is, it costs money. Like it costs me quite a bit of money to have a personal trainer, you know, like it's not, it's not cheap. Um, but yeah, I, I actually haven't gotten a guitar teacher quite yet, but it's something that I'm in the process of doing because I mean, I played guitar since I was 12 and I'm 28 now, you know? So it's been like, I guess 16 years. Yeah. It's been 16 years and like, I haven't had a, had a teacher since I was 18. So it's like, I should get a teacher now, you know, like it's been like 10 years since I've had a teacher and I should get one again. But, um, uh, anyway, yeah, I recommend checking out my article at a traveling guitarist because I kind of, I really like, I find that I'm a better writer than I am a speaker at this point. Um, or maybe, maybe not. That's how I feel about it anyway. But yeah, I really hammer home the points of like why you need to get a teacher. And, um, you know, it does take six months to a year of lessons before you've kind of learned how to learn on your own. 
but eventually you should get a, a teacher and a coach and everybody can have one like the best people in the world have coaches and mentors so i mean like michael phelps has a swimming coach you know he probably has like seven different coaches and conor mcgregor has a boxing coach and a jiu-jitsu coach and maybe a kickboxing coach and a strength and conditioning coach and you know all these people to help them become really good at it so what makes you think that you're going to go with that one you know anyway that's all for this video make sure you like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one